Hi everyone, this is Sinan again. Uh, we're still looking at the uh, Mercedes 280 SL. I'm looking at the shocks and their sack. They are original equipment. The horns are Bosch. The oil pan, as you can see, there is a little bit of a leak coming from here. It's the oil pan and it's only on this side. This side is dry. Starter housing. Just let me know if you want a different height or anything. Or oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks. And the transmission fluid, there is just a link here with a small leak. The torque converter, very clean, dry. The oil pan for the transmission. I'll take a few pictures to capture the number. Oh, there it is. A dripping leak from the transmission here. The brake fluid lines are new on both sides and the front. Protection plate is in place. Handbrake cable right here and it splits into two. This is the center support bearing for the uh, drive shaft. The CV or the universal joint seems to be in good condition. The transmission shifter, you can see it through the access hole. And that's the connection to the transmission. And these connections were made by, they are rubber to absorb some of the shock from switching gears. And the rubber seems to be in good shape on the inside. Continuing into the back, the exhaust, as you can see, there are new clamps here for the exhaust, so all the way up to here, and then this was replaced. The holders for the exhaust are in good shape too. The um, rear diff, the differential, it seems like the joints were the clamps, the clamp at least on the uh, passenger side, the rubber is good. There's a small leak in the, I think it's coming from right here. Brake lines are new in the back as well. And the rear shocks are also set. little rotting rubber here and here fuel delivery system clean spring is in good shape you can see the underbody is well maintained very little rust here, here, surface, very small, shock mounts, springs for both sides and the rear are in good shape. You can see the restoration was done well. electrical connectors for the transmission. The 
original Mercedes engine that was rebuilt as well. The steering linkages, as you can see, are well adjusted. There are no leaks coming from the steering linkages. The only leaks that I am able to uncover are on the transmission here a little bit and here and on the engine oil pan right here. Stabilizer links in the front are good. The stabilizer bar is good as well. Radiator underbody or the bottom part of the radiator is good. The calipers, as you can see, they are redone. Brakes are almost new in the front. Down pipes and even the exhaust manifold had some work done to it. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I called the starter, but the starter is here. Sorry about that. This is an original Bosch starter for that model. Again, very small leak here. Overall condition of the underbody is very good. Rear calipers were also redone. <laughs> A silver line exhaust. The mounts for the rear bumper and You can see it on the inside as well. Installation of the rear bumper is done nicely. The fuel tank as well. walking to cover the underbody panels. Heat shield is in place. The mounts for the front headlights with the wiring. A little bit of rust on them. Front bumper support and front bumper installation, as you can see, is very good.
All right. That pretty much uh, wraps up the underbody overview of this vehicle. I really um, hope that we covered everything to the best of our abilities. Again, this was uh, Sinan from Car Inspected and this was an inspection of an early 1970s Mercedes 280 SL. in uh, Toronto. Thanks for watching.